Okay, so Backbone. What an absolutely dreadful time I had with Backbone. And I say that and I truly feel that. This game like ruined my evening, but at the same time I really loved it. The game plays more like an interactive movie than a game, which is a common thing in a lot of very popular games right now. Story and character development take center stage, and the gameplay is just kind of the thing you work through to get to the rest of the story. With that said, Backbone is in my top few movies I've seen in a long time. I'm not going to pretend it's the greatest writing or the most groundbreaking storytelling, but I really loved it. If you like detective noir movies or conspiracy movies, which I don't particularly, this is up that alley. Not to call it entirely faithful, as I've already been corrected on, I believe it's called post-noir. The twists and turns fit everything I've come to expect from the genre, and then there's the more outlandish wild ones beyond that, stretching into the realm of sci-fi. The story here is really the... The backbone of backbone. It's really hard to talk about this game without any spoilers, but I will try my best. Warning anyway. It's uncommon that the story of a game holds my attention all the way through, and maybe the short three hour span of the game helped that, and maybe the fact that this game is set in a dystopian version of my hometown, which I should know is super well done. But I didn't feel the want to skip any dialogue, and I was invested as I've ever been with any good mystery film the whole way through. The first big reveal comes early, and it packed enough weight so to say, hey, you know, pay attention, we've got some shit going on here. More twists come out of left field a few times, but they don't feel like they're coming out of nothing entirely. You really do end up feeling like you as a detective here are just in way over your head. It's definitely a game where you don't feel like you're in the main character's shoes, and more that you're watching the character and choosing the small things they do. The story honestly surprised me with how bleak it was for the main character. It's one of those stories where just as things seem to be looking up, something always pushes you back down. Every scene I felt a tension building that something bad was about to happen, and in every bit of dialogue I worried I was going to say too much or ruin something. I don't think any other game could have got me to sit still and just listen to a full length song around a fire. But something about that gave me like a, a comfort, just a warm, homely comfort and a feeling that I could let my guard down for a few minutes and just breathe. A lot of Backbone's characters fill the roles of typical characters in detective films, at least until the weird parts of the game, and I thought most of them were like decently written enough to make me attached to their stories and their connections. I just really wanted everything to go well for everyone, but I've done a lot of screenwriting and I know that's not how these kind of stories play out. It just got way darker and way more real than I expected it to, and I don't know. I guess I just suppose the game that had Raccoon Meme Pack as a Kickstarter reward wouldn't be so emotionally devastating. Really caught me off guard. If I had to have some standout issues with the game, there are two. I would have to say that it doesn't feel like nearly enough of the story. It feels like it left me hanging, so to speak. I'm not sure I'm exactly expecting a sequel, but I feel like I didn't get closure on a lot of the stuff that happened. I do hope the story continues in the future, but at the moment we've got too many loose threads and unresolved issues for me to feel like it's fully complete. It does feel like they wanted to do more but maybe just couldn't for whatever reason, which really is a shame. The second problem is just the expectation that was set from the free prologue. You get the idea that this is going to be more of a puzzle game rather than a story heavy movie game. To me, not a problem. I didn't play the free preview. If you did though, I don't recommend the game. There's a lot I would talk about here, but everything is spoiler since the game is relatively short. Even the early stuff is kind of hard to share. Most of my thoughts on it are just my personal feelings. I'm having a lot of trouble saying exactly what I liked about it. I couldn't honestly tell you why. Obviously the game is new. I've played through it twice and it fits into both of the small categories of single player games that I've replayed and games that I've cried at. I don't want to rate this game. Honestly, I don't know how. I don't recommend it, but I loved it. And maybe I'll be able to tell you why later.